Hey everybody, Scott Burnett here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video. Glad to see everybody here tonight. I hope everybody's doing well today. So are you a person that uh, works on a lot of computers, uh, messes around with operating systems, uh, plays with virtual machines, um, gets tired of how your computer's running, blow it away? I'm, I'm just liable to do that in the next 15 minutes. There's no telling. So if you're one of those people like me, you have, let me show you this, a whole handful of USB drives, USB thumb drives. And every one of them have a different operating system on them. <clears throat> and when you go to put an operating system on one of these, okay, this is a 16 gig sand disk. You put a four gig or a two gig operating system on here, well, you have nothing left. I mean, it, you format it with Etcher or uh, the Windows Media Creation Tool, video right here. Um, you do that and you, you don't have anything left. Um, where's, the, where's this one at? This is, a, this is a 64 gig drive and it's got a four gig partition on it with operating system and that's all you can use. Well, what if I tell you there is a program out there and it's on GitHub, it's open source, free, download it. This is a 128 gig drive that I created with this little enclosure and it's got a USB 3 cable and it's got four operating systems on it and I can keep adding until I use all 120 gigs up. I mean, it, you can take them off, put them back on, whatever and you can still use this for everything. And when you go to boot a computer up with it to load the operating system, it's got a graphical user interface that you can pick which drive, I mean, uh, pick which file you want to use. And it's called Ventoy. So this is the Ventoy multi-boot uh, USB drive. So what we're going to do, I'm going to show you how to do this. So, and I've got another 128 gig drive right here. This is a little enclosure. It's USB 3 and it has a 2280 M.2 SSD in it. The SSD was like $25 and the enclosure was 10. And it makes a really good flash drive for you with 120 gig storage. You can do it yourself. That's what I like doing. We're going to make a Ventoy multi-boot USB drive with this thing here in just a second. So let me show you. Let's go to the screen here. I'm recording my screen. I think I've been recording it for a while. Let's go to Google. Let's type in Ventoy. And here it is right here. Links will be in the description on how to do this and the instructions. So right now they're at version 1.0.78. So we'll go to the downloads page. Now you can either download it from here or you can go to the GitHub site. I mean GitHub a lot, so I like going to GitHub, so we'll do that. But if you have a Linux machine or a Windows machine, you can get it from right here. So we'll go to GitHub. And we're on the release. Now, you always want to use the release, unless you're one of those wild people that will do a beta. But I like doing a, a stable release when I'm doing something like this, because I don't want to go take my drive and have to use it and it not work. So generally on these releases, it'll work. So, so what we'll do, we'll scroll down. Here's what we want. We want the... Ventoy 1078 windows.zip 15 megs Now I've already downloaded this but I'll show, I'm going to walk you through here so we'll open the file We're going to extract all and I'm just going to put it in my downloads folder And there it is So when you open the folder up this is what you have. You have these four folders, a little instruction 
text document, the actual application that you use, and then a couple of other applications. Now we're going to use the Ventoy to disk. So I'm going to plug my USB drive up. And we're going to double click. Now make sure that it is a USB drive that you don't care anything about any files on it because it's going to format the whole space so you can use it for Ventoy. All right, so here we are. Um, it shows this is a 120 gig drive, I'm sorry. Uh, master boot record. We're gonna go to the options. Secure boot support is enabled. Um, a lot of the newer machines with UEFI BIOSes want to use secure boot with uh, TPM chips and all that other mess. Uh, if you wanna change it over to a GPT partition, you can. A uh, lot of things you can do with this. So what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and install this. And it says the device will be formatted, all the data will be lost. Say yes. Okay, it does the Apple thing. It may, are you are you sure? Say yes. It only takes a minute to do this, depending on your computer speed. This one's pretty quick. All right, congratulations, Ventoy has been successfully installed. Okay. So, and you can also update the software when they put out a new release on GitHub, you can say update and it will go out and get an update for you. All right, now we'll open up a clean file explorer, go to this PC, and you'll see now my D drive has 111 gigs free. That's after you format it, that's what you get. And it's called Ventoy. And it will be called Ventoy from here on out, I guess. So I'm opening up another file explorer and I have went and downloaded some ISO files. So as you see here, I have Ubuntu 2204 desktop, Windows 11, and Windows 10. So over here on Ventoy, nothing here. No folders, just that system volume information, but that's nothing. So all I'm gonna do, I'm gonna drag these three over. There's no importing, exporting, nothing. This is a USB 3.0 device. Uh, it's doing 40 megs per second. I hope I got it plugged into a USB 3.0. But uh, we'll come back when it's done. All right, looks like we finished. So now, Let me eject this drive and we'll put it in my test PC, record the screen on it, and I can show you what the Ventoy um, graphical user interface looks like. Y'all hang loose. All right, so we're back. So I think I've got everything set up to record the screen here. So let's go ahead and do that. I put my Freshly made Ventoy drive in there, so we'll try to find the power button on this thing. There we go. We're going to prepare a one-time boot menu. This is a little Dell Optiplex that I got off Amazon. It, it, it's been everything. It's been a hackintosh. It's been. It's right now. It's my Fedora 36 workstation. So. See, it's got a, it's Fedora, it's had Ubuntu, it's got a Kingston SSD drive, and here is my ASMT 120 gig uh, Ventoy, which I wish it would come up and say Ventoy, but it doesn't. So we'll go ahead and hit OK. And here is what the graphical user interface looks like. So, and if you have more ISOs, It'll just keep going. Um, so we got Ubuntu, got Windows 11, and Windows 10. So, and just to show you how this works, okay, but well, before I do that, let's go down. So if we hit F1, there's a whole list of uh, menu items down here. 
Uh, we got MemDisk, so it checks the uh, memory, but it's not really suited for this uh, ISO because it's so big. Uh, F2 will show us uh, what the ISO actually is. It shows us all the specs on it, lets us browse it. F3 is tree, tree view. If you like that kind of view, it just breaks it down into trees. Uh, hit escape. Let's see, F4 is local boot. And that lets you boot up little uh, different operating systems and stuff. F5 is tools. And this lets you uh, change your power level, your resolution, themes, uh, different utilities. It's got all kinds of the utilities you can do for your disk and uh, booting and F6 lets you uh, escape or, or exit out of it. So what I want to do now, I want to actually uh, hit enter on this Ubuntu Alright, so when you get to the screen it says try or install Ubuntu, Ubuntu safe mode, OEM install we're going to try it. So I'm going to show you how good it works. So we're going to load this up. That's a normal error that I get. There's the Ubuntu screen. Now remember, we're running this off the USB drive. So There is the default Ubuntu 22. Computer's got a little tiny speaker. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna go over here and try it. And hopefully it'll pop back up, there it is. And now we're in the Ubuntu operating system off the Ventoy drive. And how long did that take? Two minutes. Now you can try this out, and most of the um, almost said Ubuntu, most of the Linux distros have it to where you can try it before you install it. Pretty cool. Um, now Windows, not so much. <laughs> Your install. So, so once you do all this go ahead and if you do the install go ahead get all your updates your security patches if you're on windows get your antivirus all up to date all your updates drivers the whole bit if your linux machine has a graphics card sound card whatever different network card make sure your drivers are up to date so everything's moving like it should and um hey that's about it. Do y'all like that? I know I do. I'm, now, I can take all these USB drives that I got, and, you know, all these different ones. I mean, I got just a dang truckload of them over here. I can use them for something else. Don't know what, but... <laughs> So anyway, hope y'all enjoy this video. Give me a thumbs up, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell to be notified. Uh, we're at 1,018 subscribers. I've got an idea on my 1,000 subscriber giveaway, and that's coming this week. Uh, I got a good idea on it, so we're going to do that. Uh, appreciate my son putting me over the 1,000 subscriber mark. I appreciate him, and I, as y'all can see... I, I enjoy my child. He, uh, he's a good kid. But I uh, hope everybody's doing well today. Hope everybody's having a, a good week so far. Uh, got any questions, any comments? If you've used Ventoy, let me know. Uh, let me know how many, here's the thing, let me know how many ISOs you have on your drive. Let me know. I'm going to load this sucker out and see how many I can get and play around with them. But, uh, Hope everybody enjoys this, and like I always say, until the next video, thanks for watching.
Now what? <laughs> now what? <sighs>